Well, it's over, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great, and welcome to this uh, to this middle of the day market update. Um, usually on Saturday I don't do this, but I am um, I'm not sure if I'll do one tomorrow. Um, and uh, and in general, there are some things to talk about, right? Because there is activity on the markets. There's quite a lot of movement. Uh, so in this video, what I wanted to do is kind of give you a preview of next week already, so you, you're prepared for next week and and some things that we have. Uh, but also talk about what's still possible this weekend because i i do think that there will be opportunities and i'll try to to kind of highlight them now i will also i, w I was thinking about something and I'm, I'm very very interested in in knowing your opinion on this um so so my goal with these videos is kind of to to give you an edge right so so to tell you what's going on what do you need to focus on and where are opportunities um, so I was thinking of renaming this uh, this series or this daily update I do to something like how to make money in crypto today, because that's essentially the goal, all right? Because I, I I will tell you about cryptos that I'm looking at, cryptos that I think are interesting, um, and also things to, to to look out for, all right? Because saving money is also making money, I think. Um, so let me know what you think about that name. I I, I might just call it that uh, today already, but it's uh, not sure if it if it if it fits. But let me know. Um, but yeah, all right. So so today is uh, well a relatively quiet day in in terms of volume. Volume is dropping down, of course. But if you look at Bitcoin, like already on the four hour time frame, uh, you can see some sort of a bullish divergence right here with the RSI on the one hour time frame, not on the four hour. Um, but there is also in in general like there there is a divergence, right? I mean, if you if you look at the the RSI here, we are making higher lows with the RSI. We're making lower highs right here with the price. Also, some sort of a, a three drive pattern. Uh, which basically means that you have three drives down and then you can get some sort of re reversal and then like i said on the, on the one hour time frame you can very clearly see some sort of a an uh, rsi divergence and then apart from that what i think is interesting um is that we got a bullish breakout right here all right so so we broke out above 62,000, uh, uh 64,200, excuse me um and we actually got some bullish momentum today as well now what, what, what's happening over the course of today, though, is that we do see it's weekend. All right, so so Bitcoin got a bullish breakout. That's great. You would you would like to see some sort of a continuation um, continuation for that. Um, but no, what you what you get is that we gained some momentum like since since yesterday evening, uh, but then we had a sell off here this uh, this morning. You can see open interest drops down, CVD turns turns bearish. And now the, the CVD is flat and the open interest is relatively flat in the last uh, 30 minutes at least as well. Before that, we actually had a significant increase in momentum again. So Bitcoin itself, I'm slightly bullish on it. I have a slight bullish bias, but it looks like we're, we're, we're about to fall flat. All right. So that's um, that's not amazing. But I do think that if, if you look at the markets, there are opportunities. All right. Some coins are actually moving quite a bit. Um, about next week, next week is a relatively quiet week, I would say, in terms of economic events. We have something on Thursday, we have something on Friday, which matters. I will keep you updated, uh, I, I will keep you updated on that throughout the week, all right? It makes no sense to already talk about that today, uh, when it's still like five days away. Um, but I'll keep you updated, so make sure to keep an eye on the channel. Um, so ideally today, Bitcoin would continue to be bullish, but if you look at the markets right now, I think there are opportunities, like for example, Bonk. I think it's quite strong and I also uh, longed that all right bonk set a major support level here on the on the 12 hour time frame psychological level which we hit uh, yesterday afternoon as well and we're gaining some momentum so bonk is one crypto I think you need to watch Afex had a huge dump earlier this morning and it's now trying to get some sort of a bullish breakout right here uh, trying to go for that short squeeze I think this is very interesting as well like some sort of a like if we close above 25.5 um, I think something like this could 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 work as well, but this is a bit more risky due to the due to the dump we saw earlier. Um, but very interesting, and I think in in general, if you look at Afax and if you look at Bonk, I think those are the coins with the most potential uh, now. And you have some others like Ordi also showing some potential, um, and that's about it. I mean, you could really zoom in and and see some intraday strength, um, but what you see with Ordi is that Ordinals as a narrative is gaining some momentum. And Ordi itself still has to break above some significant levels. Like it, it has to break above this level here at uh, 42.6. But if that breaks, that's a significant bullish breakout and it already has momentum. So that's interesting as well. Um, and I think that's it for today. I mean, like I said, that there will probably be some other cryptos that, that will perform well. 
like Turbo is doing quite well earlier um, uh, since the start of today. I, I'm short on this, so I'm, I don't like this. <laughs> but uh, but no, th this looks quite uh, quite strong. Could be interesting to, to either look for a short after some bearish confirmation uh, or some sort of a long after continuation or some sort of a retest. And I think that's about it for now. So if you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. Bitcoin looks quite bullish now, so hopefully that continues. But for now, that's what you need to know. All right, so thank you for watching. Take care and bye.